Hey, what's up everybody? January 21st, 2021. Um, this is basically like the calm before the massive amount of snow that's coming, you guys. This this could be this could be as much snow as I've ever seen since I've lived here in, in six years now, just about. So um, I'm very excited. Uh, we have the potential to get up to three feet of snow by the end of next week, you guys. So it's all gonna begin tomorrow night, but with the light stuff tomorrow and Saturday. And then uh, we're gonna get a little break during the day on Sunday, but then once Sunday night hits, um, if you guys aren't already up here, then I mean, I don't know what to tell you because it's gonna be, it's gonna be a very difficult journey to get here in the next week um, after Sunday. So please, please, if you're coming up, get up here as soon as you can. And forgive me about it uh, being such a kind of quick turnaround in terms of letting you guys know that you need to be here soon if you're gonna come up here. Um, if you don't want to stress out, deal with insane traffic, get up here right away and take a few days off next week to enjoy this because we're gonna get a lot of snow. I don't like usually the calm before the storm video isn't this this intense, so the potential's there, you guys for huge snow. I mean, three plus feet. I, 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 I mean, I'll, I'll bet we'll get a foot, maybe 18 inches, but the potential for three feet's there. Um, if everything pans out the way they say, it could even be more than three feet. So let's just be very, 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 very positive about it. Keep a good attitude because this is gonna be sick, you guys. So once again, it's the 21st today. Thursday the 21st, January 2021, and the snow is going to begin tomorrow again, tomorrow evening, and it's, it's going to be light. Uh, through Saturday night, we're probably going to get a couple inches of snow, that's it, but then as I said, Sunday we take a break, and then Sunday night, that's when the first of the huge storms hits, so please, please, guys, this is going to be so much fun, just have a good time. Um, but yeah, I thought you guys might want to know that we're going to get wrecked. I'm so excited about it. Like, I'm so excited about it. Thank God I have a bunch of AAA. I have two Premier AAA memberships, you guys. Not like the basic memberships, two Premier memberships because of all the driving I do and the risk of, of getting stuck a lot. So, um, yeah. However, it's not going to really matter in a storm like this. If I get stuck in the snow in the middle of, of a street somewhere when it's super deep, they're not gonna get to me for at least a day probably in those situations. So be very vigilant, you guys, stay safe, and please understand what is coming. This is no joke. This is no joke. This is the type of weather that kills. So please, for the love of everything snowy, be careful. And as you guys can see, pretty much all the snow from two days ago melted. nothing left but yeah anyway we're just going to dump on Darston real quick meet someone over there <coughs> uh oh there's an amber lamps behind me can you guys see that the amber lamps it's the amber lamps somebody call the amber lamps Great. That's pretty cool. I wish we could do that, put on our sirens and go. I have sirens, but it'd be pretty illegal for me to do that, so that's why I don't do it. <laughs> but I have all the sirens on my car, which is pretty cool. Um, I've got four different sounds, four different sirens. But as I said, I will not do them anywhere near a main road or anything like that because it's so illegal. I don't want to get busted for impersonating a police officer. I basically got the sirens so we can have fun when we're off-roading and stuff like that. Um, but even if I see someone on the roads in the dirt way off the mountain somewhere, I'm not going to do it right, th right there because I don't want them to feel like I'm a cop and once again be impersonating a police officer. Because first of all, I'm nowhere near as good as a cop in anything. Um, I try to be respectful and carry myself like one 
uh, um, just in terms of how I treat other people or, or, or you know around me trying to help and trying to be loving and stuff like that so but anyway we're pulling in there's my buddy hang on a second hang on a second All right, you guys, we're headed back to the other side of town again. Just wanted you guys to see what it's like in the village and stuff like that. Just so you guys know, it's totally cool right now. Come up here, you'll be totally fine. Don't trip on chains or nothing like that. You'll be good. But once again, I can't stress enough, you guys, this is going to be a very dangerous set of storms coming through beginning Sunday night, late Sunday night into Monday morning. So please take heed. Do whatever you guys need to do to stay safe. If you're coming up here, make sure you pack your car full of extra warm clothing, blankets, food and water to last a few days just in case, and let a few people know where you're going and when you're expected to arrive so they can hear from you when you're expected to arrive. And if they don't hear from you, then they can start doing a little research to find out if you're okay. Very important, you guys, this is no joke. So anyway, we're going, we're gonna go through the village right now. Hang tight though. So we're about to get going here. So we're in the village, obviously. Guys, this is gonna be such a winter wonderland in, in like four days. It's gonna be crazy beautiful. What's gonna be really cool though is for the people that don't show up before the storm, we're probably gonna get a good day or two of nobody up here um, because it's gonna be almost impossible to get here is what I'm thinking, um, which means that we're gonna get a lot of really good videos because I'm gonna be able to fly through town <laughs> in deep snow uninter un uninterrupted so you guys can see what it's gonna be like when you get up here. But for those of you who want to be here for the huge snow, get up here no later than like noon on Sunday, just to be safe. I'm not kidding. This is going to be so awesome, you guys. If it pans out. If it pans out. guys this is gonna be such a different looking place in a few days Woo. obviously we got some snow coming tomorrow and, and Saturday but it's not much it's just enough to make it look pretty here just a couple inches maybe at the most but then as I say Sunday night you guys get ready we're gonna get freaking just paralyzed with snow is what I'm hoping anyway I love you guys January 21st 2021 get ready all right, you guys, we're in Big Bear Lake. It's January 21st, 2020, and we are pulling into the hotel I'm gonna be doing a review on. Here it is, the lodge at Big Bear Lake. Very nice. So we're just gonna drive up real quick through the little drive driveway where you would drop people off who are checking in, especially when you don't have the COVID thing going on. But the pool is closed in the winter time, you guys. So there's this. Yeah, the pool is closed in the wintertime. And the jacuzzi is closed right now because of COVID. So unfortunately, those are not working right now. And on top of that, we've got another, uh, pretty much everything else isn't active at the moment because of COVID, except for on the weekends, the restaurant is open. So anyway, I'm gonna put you guys on the gimbal and we're gonna go do this. Peace out.